Our customers frequently come to us with the question of what is SUDS? SUDS is a way of combating flood risks and this model that we've built simply demonstrates that and the various different common uses of SUDS. So first of all over here is a natural landscape. So there's been no hard standing development on there. So it's just your natural trees and grassed areas. Now what happens is the rain will fall on this area and penetrate straight into the ground. And this helps stop flooding downstream. I'll just demonstrate that. So as you can see, the rainfall penetrates into the surface. Now, as we've experienced, there's been development more and more. Um, and basically what means is that these natural landscapes are now being developed with hard standing areas. Now, these start hard standing areas will not allow the water to filtrate through when it rains. So what happens is then it will flood downstream. So as you can see, the water's run off that hard stand area and flooded the houses downstream. Now another version of a tarmac area is to have permeable paving. So this is one example out, uh, that we're showing today and basically it's a hard standing surface which can take large trafficked vehicles uh, but it also allows the water to penetrate through as it rains. So this will stop flooding downstream. So as you can see the water filtrated through the hard landscaping area. Another solution which we've got is soft suds. Now, the example here today is a swale, and basically the idea is that it's designed so it collects the water in a bit of a reservoir, and it'll naturally soak into the ground very slowly, and again, this stops flooding downstream. So as you can see, the water is collected. These are very attractive, and it's good for wildlife. The only disadvantage is that it can't be trafficked, such as the permeable paving. The final example that I've got here to my right is uh, basically lin linear drainage. So this is another alternative to the two I've just demonstrated. So linear drainage collects the water from the road surface into a drainage channel and simply transports it away to stop flooding downstream. So as you can see, as it rains, the water is collected in the drainage system and transported away rather than downstream. So this is a demonstration of three sustainable drainage systems which stop flooding downstream.